Don't you just love my glasses? Popsicles can be a cool, sweet treat on a very hot day, and we have lots of those here in Florida during the summertime. And it's almost summertime. Are you ready? Do you have your cool glasses like these? Have you got your bathing suit bodies ready to show the world? No? Really? Okay, okay, I'm teasing. I understand I had to give that up years ago. What about travel plans? Are you going anywhere this summer? I hope to have the grandkids come to see me. Summer's a great time for going places that you've never been and meeting strangers that can become friends. One of my favorite things to do when we travel is visiting other churches. I'm a member of the Church of Christ and there are congregations all over this country and even the world. Isn't it great to know that when you're a Christian, you literally have family everywhere you go? Now, just pause and think about that for a moment. Family. What does the word family mean to you? If you grew up with a wonderful family and terrific parents, that word might bring to mind wonderful memories of growing up. However, if you did not have such a great family, then me telling you that we have family all over the world is not comforting at all, is it? The truth is that there are no perfect parents. I made so many mistakes, I'm just thankful my kids still talk to me. We all make mistakes, and sometimes we hurt our children, but some mistakes cause more damage than others. Some parents hurt their children on purpose. Abuse. It's a terrible thing to endure. If that happened to you, I am terribly sorry, but God's not an abuser. He loves us and will take wonderful care of us. Matthew 6, 26. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? When we are a Christian, we are part of the family of God. Regardless of our relationship with our earthly parents, now we are part of God's amazing, loving family. Psalms 27.10 for my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Jesus is our brother, and we're all family. Isn't that amazing? Doesn't that just lift your spirits? God is our heavenly father. Not only is our father, but he is a good and loving father. Now, that might be hard to believe if your father was absent from your life or even abusive. However, this father is different because he's perfect. Matthew 5, 48, you therefore must be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Being in the family of God is such a great blessing. Wherever we go, there will be Christians, our family, who also love Jesus and want to serve him. Matthew 12, 50, for whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. So regardless of whether you're in a new place, because you're traveling or moving to a new town, God is there, Jesus is there, and your Christian family will be there too. Yes, it's true, we can worship God anywhere. On the mountain, in a valley, by the ocean, in our homes, but it's only when we come together with our Christian family that we can get to know one another so that we can love and each other and support one another as God intended. Galatians 6, 2, bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. God's plan for us is all perfect and we're not surprised. After all, he's God. So as we prepare for summer, Let's get out those swimsuit and awesome sunglasses, plan that trip and book that Airbnb, but let's also get out our GPS and find a family of God to worship with on our travels. After all, we'll not be just worshiping with our human Christian family. Christ will be there too. Matthew 18, 20, for where two or three are gathered in my name, 
there am I among them. Summertime is the perfect time to slow down and truly enjoy all the benefits of being a child of God. So what are we waiting for? It's almost summertime. Let's get ready to rest and worship together as God's family. Ladies, thanks for watching. Please share this video and tell your sisters about it. I love being in the family of God, don't you? Until we are all together again, never forget that God loves you and so do I.